so I'm on the road. Hi there, welcome to the Upcycle Design Lab. My name's Cindy and I craft using recycled and repurposed materials. And today I'm on my way to my very first craft show, the Recycle Santa Fe Art Festival. It's a beautiful day out, sunny, and I've been driving for about an hour and a half, uh, but I have four and a half hours to go, so I better get back on the road. So I made it to the hotel. That last hour of the drive was a little bit grueling, but uh, this is my home base for the next three days. Um, I guess I'll see you in the morning. All right, I finally made it here, figured out how to park. Got upstairs, found my booth. There's a lot of professionals here and I'm feeling a little bit intimidated, but here goes. So that was the show. It's actually Sunday night and I've packed up everything and I'm going to be going home in the morning. I will be back with a future video talking more about the finance, finances, what I made, what I sold and recapping all of that. But right now I'm just kind of probably ramble a little bit because I'm pretty tired. But uh, I wanted to film this while I was still kind of a lot of the things were still fresh in my mind. And what I want to talk about now is just kind of the um, the emotional roller coaster that you go on. And to be honest, after setting up on Friday night, I was I was very tired. Uh, the show went until nine o'clock. I made a few sales, but I was I, I was kind of just shell shocked, I think, and a little bit 
intimidated by a lot of the other vendors that were there. So I definitely went through that imposter uh, syndrome or whatever it is. And um, so Friday night, I was pretty, pretty down and I thought, oh gosh, what have I done? I, I, you know, I have to do this again tomorrow. But Saturday turned out to be pretty fun. And I actually, um, I had to force myself a little bit because I'm, I'm an introvert and I am not great at small talk and I'm not great at sort of interacting with people um, that I don't know. But uh, it was fun. It was, it was easy just to say hello and to greet people. And I had a lot more sales on Saturday. And um, Sunday, today was a little bit slower, but I was still sort of had that upbeat attitude and it was still a, a fun day. Uh, I do want to be sure to mention that two people actually made my show, even if I hadn't made a single sale, because uh, Charmaine and Samantha, thank you so much for stopping by the booth and telling me that you watched my YouTube videos. That really meant a lot to me. Um, and I'm, I'm serious. It made the show for me. So um, I think I'm going to keep this brief because I don't want to ramble. I'm a little bit tired, but I did want to just kind of touch on the the emotional part of the show which is definitely valid and i'm sure that everyone feels it part of it is just accepting that you are who you are and you have what you have to sell and people will buy it or they won't and you don't have to be embarrassed about it or feel ashamed of it uh it certainly helps when you're selling things and you're getting some positive feedback but um there were definitely people, you know, that were much more professional about this than I than I was. Um, so, if you decide to do it, I would just encourage you to realize that you belong there, just like everybody else. There's space for everyone, and you know, there was a lady next to me in the booth next to me selling these beautiful woven wall hangings for. Um, I, the one price I saw was $800. So, I mean, she was definitely in that art realm, high, fine art realm. And, um, you know, I was in the craft realm, but, but there's a space for both of us. And that, that's my point. So if you're thinking about doing it, you probably will kind of have some of those hesitations and you might feel a little intimidated, but I would encourage you just to realize that your, your, products and your space has an appeal to someone and that you do belong there and to really try to not let yourself feel like um, you shouldn't be there or that that you don't belong. Anyway, I think I'm going to wrap it up because I feel like I'm rambling a little bit. Like I said, I'm a little bit tired uh, and I will address a lot more detailed sort of final thoughts about the show uh, in my next video. So thank you very much for watching. Um, I will see you soon.